Hello everyone, I'm Jake with the Test and Evaluation Toolkit team. Um, and I'm here to just kind of showcase for you a feature of Test and Evaluation Toolkit that's not often used uh, by many, by many uh, users. Um, and that is the analysis data display uh, within TETK. So jumping into the software here, you may be familiar with the normal data displays, the 3D embedded window data displays that you can create through STK or you know, leverage in the data display option of the flight analysis tool in TETK. With that, you know, you, you can grab various metrics from your data files and, and create any dynamic data display in your 3D window. But for the analysis data display, it's a little different here. Um, and it's actually a tool that is found on the Test and Evaluation Toolkit toolbar up here. So it, right next to the custom workflow option, we have uh, the analysis data display. And uh, what makes this special? One, being visually, what it does is it creates a separate pop-up window uh, display that I can then embed in my GUI, similar to that of the flight analysis tool or the object browser, and I'll show you that in a minute. So we can create something like a new display here. I can give it a name, so I'm just going to call this ADD for analysis data display uh, underscore test, just to give it a look here. And then what I can do is I can start to insert uh, some rows here. And if I expand this out, you'll see that I have you know, a, an option for my analysis object. Um, so in this case, uh, what I'm leveraging is actually the data files from the TTK guided training, if you're familiar with that. So these are files that come with the TTK install with the, the help. And if I actually drop this down, I, I'm, I'm utilizing this XF, XF1 analysis object. And then, you know, I can create more than one too. And then what I'm essentially can do is leverage these, the metrics similar to that of the dynamic data display in the 3D window. Um, and I, I can grab data from my data files, from my TISP files. And I can also, in this case, I, I imported a target one and I did a track comparison to target one. And so I can grab some of the track comparison data to display. So let's go ahead and, and, and create one real quick. And so I'm going to create three different metrics. Um, what makes this really great is when I have multiple kind of measures of performance that I need satisfied together. And this is where this really excels. So let's look at our kind of track comparison. Um, I have a few kind of ones I want to highlight here. So let's do a, a range rate from target. And we'll select units feet per second. Um, let's create another another uh, metric that we want to utilize. We'll do body aspect to target one. So again, we're leveraging our track comparison. Um, so body aspect to target one. We'll units, we'll select degree. So again, these are, you know, maybe uh, some specifications that were, you know, that we were trying to get good data points from our from our flight tests that we're, you know, we're analyzing. So the last one here, let's do slant range then to target one. And for units, we'll select uh, nautical miles. And so this is where the analysis kind of part of the analysis data display comes, comes uh, to play. So it's kind of hidden here, but uh, on the very far right, you'll see this kind of calculator with a plus minus. And this is where the magic happens. And this is where we create these inside outside boundaries of our, of our uh, metrics that we've just defined here. So we can set when essentially we're in spec and we can visualize that through color, so in this case green, or we can visualize when we are out of spec and we can visualize it with something like red, you know, green good, uh, red bad, right? Simple as that. Um, so for this first one, range rate from target one, I could, you know, hit this min max option and then filter from there. But for this case, I'm going to do zero to a thousand feet per second. Uh, that's kind of what I want to look at. Again, these are just your own kind of specs, measures of performance uh, specs that, you know, you want to specifically look at. So these are all notional for body aspect. Uh, let's look at in, you know, degrees, let's look at 50 to 180. So when our aspect angle to target one is from 50 to 180, maybe we need to take that consideration or into consideration for our test event. And then for slant range, Let's go from 15 nautical miles to 50, and I'll hit OK. So we have those created. I can you know, modify those 
metrics that I'm gonna gonna display. I can add, delete, so forth, change uh, the order in which they appear. I'll hit OK, and what you can see, uh, we created this separate pop-up window, right, with our with our metrics, our metrics name, and and the values at that time. So actually, if I if I hit play now, you can see how those those are dynamically changing, like like the similar uh, data display within T2K. But now I have this great little handy kind of eye candy of of green and, and red when I'm in spec and when I'm out of spec. And so what this does is essentially allows you to maximize your green good data points within your test and visualize you know, what, what data is actually good data. And so I can find the points within my uh, test where all my data is green. And then from there, I can look at the conditions at which this, this happened and I can then you know, replicate this going forward for my next test and understand, hey, if these are my conditions that need to be met, well, this is how I, I can accurately execute that, that, that mission to, to get good data. And then kind of like what I mentioned before, you can dock this into anywhere on the GUI so I can make this dockable and then I can say like throw this right up at the top here. And then now it's nicely embedded there. I have it there just to reference. You know, it doesn't take up any of the, the actual the graphics uh, window here. All dynamic, so I hit play. And we can start to visualize how these, these numbers are changing, again, when I'm in spec and out of spec. So just another one of the you know, many ways uh, with Test and Evaluation Toolkit, you can really maximize that green space of your test events thus uh, reducing your kind of refly uh, rates, your, your test event redos, really saving your program a lot of money by uh, really analyzing only and analyzing and focusing on the, the good data and uh, really limiting the, the amount of bad data within your tests. So that's essentially the analysis data display. And real quick, I just wanted to show a nice handy tool. Uh, I actually created a, a quick code to automate uh, TETK and uh, kind of leverage the, the time segments tool within Test and Evaluation Toolkit. And I think these kind of, the time segments with the analysis data display uh, make one really powerful team for analyzing your good data. Um, so let me close out of this. I ran a little MATLAB code here, created one to uh, use TETK connect commands to connect to SDK and TETK automatically. And so what I've done here is I've I can create some conditions here so I can I can grab the first element that I want, you know, I'm, I'm focusing on. I can create my specs, my in and out bounds, um, and then I can grab another second element so I can satisfy them together. And that's what this code is going to make. So let me run that. Okay, so we ran our code and just in a matter of about a minute, we've created uh, and automatically imported some flight segments into our scenario here. And I went ahead and I created an analysis data display. And what I really want to showcase here is I set the code to create some satisfaction intervals for when both of my defined metrics were within my bounds. And so leveraging that with the analysis data display, it's kind of hard to find the points exact when, you know, when we are green. But with something like you know, the, the code I created or, or, the, or the flight segments definition tool, I can zoom to this. And I can find those exact points and that exact time interval in which you know my data is good data. Uh, so in this case, I was looking at when is my own ship's calibrated airspeed from 200 to 300 knots, and uh, at the same time with the condition of when's my roll from greater than or less than uh, zero degrees to negative 50 degrees. Uh, so I can see that here. So in this case, you know we're around 250. And uh, a negative 30 roll angle there. So that's just a little bit about the analysis data display and how you can create one powerful tool with something like the flight segment definition tool. Again, just one of the many ways you can really maximize the green space and uh, your test point density. The code that I did use is available on our GitHub page and we'll leave the link below. So go ahead and check that out, give that a download and see uh, how you can integrate that with uh, SDK. Hope you learned uh, something uh, from this video, uh, took something away, uh, and we'll see you next time, thanks.